We have a few interesting pieces of Pokemon news for you guys today. Starting off with the rest of Paradise Dragona. We're finally getting the final cards from the full set, so we can take a look at that. If you guys aren't familiar, Paradise Dragona is the Japanese set. And that's only going to be half of our Surging Sparks set. So they're taking Paradise Dragona and then another set called Supercharged Breaker. They're taking those, putting those together, and that's going to make Surging Sparks. So we have half of Surging Sparks. We're going to go through it all. Some of these cards we've seen before. Some of these cards are new. But we are going to just jump straight into them and just, just kind of start talking about it. We'll start off with the Execute. I actually really like uh, this this IR, uh, this artwork, I think it's super adorable. I have no idea what they're doing on the basketball court. They got no business playing tennis and skateboarding, uh, but I love it. So execute, uh, doing things right there. I don't even know. Um, this one is super cool. I actually really like um, the art style on this. You know, the Pokemon's okay, but um, the art style is super cool. I like how dark and then the green and the purple's really popping. It's, pr it's pretty decent um, IR there. I mean, next up, like, you got to admit, Pokemon Company has great looking cards, especially in the Scarlet and Violet era. All of these cards are great looking. I just, it's just a different style. I like everything that's going on here, color wise. Cool little IR. Now, we've talked about this one uh, in a recent video. This one, I like the style of, just not the Pokemon as much. The Pokemon is a little bit more lame in this one, uh, but I do like the vibe of it. So. Um, but yeah, I guess all the Pokemon get their chances for IRs at some point, it kind of seems like. So, um, yeah, not not super stoked for this one, but um, Arita, good artist, so the goat right there. Um, next up, this one's this one's okay, too. Um, honestly, what I, li I like the Whalemers in the bottom. I don't know, just me. Let me know if you guys like the Whalemers as well. Um, yeah, this one's okay, too. You know, nothing to, nothing to sneeze at. It's, it's not bad. Um, next up, we're starting to get into the good stuff. Um, so this is a, a pair card um, that the artworks kind of connect. The Latios and Latios connect. Super stunning. I can't wait to see what this looks like in person. going to be a great looking card. And if you guys aren't familiar, the uh, Lovebird cards are pretty crazy. Uh, so popular Pokemon. And I'll be really interested to see what these cards end up at price-wise. Uh, I do like the artwork. I think the other one looks a little bit better because this this one's kind of facing away from you. Um, but we'll we'll get to that one later. Now this card, once again, not the coolest Pokemon, in my opinion. They can't all be the they can't all be you know your favorites. But I really like this card. Really pops. This is a great looking card. Um, yeah, honestly, this might be one. It's gonna be one that's gonna be in my list that I gotta collect. So pretty stoked on this card. Great. It's great looking. They're really killing the art. This one's super silly. Um, more basic style. I'm not the biggest fan of this style of artwork personally, um, but I do like I do like how silly it is. So yeah, uh, this one's probably one that I would pass on if I'm being completely honest, but uh, it's kind of cool. Then we have the Skarmory. Check this out. This is a stunning looking card. Love the Pokemon personally. Uh, like that they're on the. It's like on the van, on the metal van. I don't know. It just looks cool. Really like this card. Great to look at. Uh, I mean, I don't know this. It. We won't know until we see the other set. But Surging Sparks looks like it has a potential to be an absolute banger potentially, if this is the first half. Um, this card right here. It's pretty cool as well. Uh, this Pokemon is kind of... I don't really like the uh, the basic Apple one. But the uh, it's kind of growing on me a little bit uh, with that SIR from Stellar Crown. Kind of, I'm liking it a little bit more. It's kind of silly, but it's growing on me and he's popping out. So it, it's, it's, it's kind of cool. Some of these new Pokemon, they, the more you start to see them, you know, they kind of start to grow on you a little bit. So uh, another one on my list right there. Uh... Same thing right here. I mean, this is just adorable. A little apple orchard. They're really uh, nailing the adorable arts, adorable Pokemon. Pokemon is doing that really well. Uh, it's a pretty cool card as well. It's not it's not the craziest, but it's definitely pretty cool. This one really caught my eye. I really liked... Uh, we talked about this. This just got announced like a few days ago. Uh, 
but we talked about this in another video cool looking pokemon great looking art really like this the look of this card a lot this is definitely one i would need to snag for my personal collection if i'm being honest the curim uh black curim pretty cool looking card i really like the uh the vibe here you know it's not like a an ir or an sir per se that i would like but i'd prefer one of those but still a cool looking little full art right there this one's okay. You know, once again, these these cards usually don't do it for me. I, I prefer the IRs or SIRs, but great looking card. Pokemon Pops. like the color choices. Now, I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. When we get to the, the Rainbow Borders or something that I think is really cool. I haven't uh, seen a Rainbow Border card in person yet. I got my... Uh, Stellar Crown boxes hopefully coming tomorrow, which would be technically release day, so that kind of works. A lot of people got theirs early. I wasn't one of them, so I yeah I can't wait to get my hand on these Rainbow Border cards and the crowns. I like I'm digging the crown the crown thing. It's not bothering me. Some people don't like it, but I'm all about it. I think it's cool. Really colorful, great looking card. Then you got the building, the walking building. Definitely not a fan of this Pokemon. Uh, the the uh, other artwork of this Pokemon is a little bit better, in my opinion. This is not really a fan. The card's okay, but I just don't really like the Pokemon. Then we got the Executor uh, Rainbow Border here. Another good-looking card. Love the Rainbow Border. Love love the crown, everything that's going on. This is like a derpy, derpy Pokemon that I love. Next up, we got the Cyclozar. Same thing. I'm liking these. I'm liking these Rainbow Borders. I'm liking the crowns. I'm liking everything that's going on. I think they look super cool. I think they pop. They really pop, and I think these are going to be popular cards. I don't know how valuable they'll be. I think that these might be more popular with the newer generation, the younger kids. They really like colorful, shiny things, so uh, definitely will be popular with them. Then we got some trainer cards here. Not really ever a big... I don't really ever collect trainer cards, if I'm being completely honest. So this doesn't super do it for me, but it's okay. Then we got Surfer Dude. It's kind of cool. He's got a little shark tooth necklace. It's just chilling. Not bad. We talked about this card before, the bone lady. She's got all the bones. Um, yeah, once again, eh, doesn't do it for me. Eh, doesn't do it for me. Trainer card, you know, it is what it is. Some people will like it. Now this card, SIR right here, stunning, stunning. I, and I can tell just because the thing with these like scans or whatever, they just never, ever, ever do it justice. And I think that this is going to be a really stunning card and a really popular card. Uh, a lot of that's based off of just Latios, Latios, the Lovebird cards being so expensive. These might be another new great alternative for people who are wanting to collect that card possibly. So I could see that being a thing. We've got another building doing his thing. I like this one better than the other one uh, for the building, if I'm being honest. But yeah, not really. Once again, not my biggest cup of tea personally then we have the executor alolan executor sir which i really like uh this is since we haven't seen the second half of this set this is definitely kind of one of my probably my biggest chase for this set i just love the derpiness of the pokemon i love this whole vibe of the sunset on the basketball court and the rainbow borders and you know i like executor enough uh but you know gen one so or gen one version so it's doing it enough for me i'll be chasing this card if i don't pull it i'll probably have to buy it honestly uh love this card absolutely i just think it's great I, uh, if you guys let me know if you guys don't like this card let me know why let me know in the comments uh why you don't like this card yeah i just think it's it's got a vibe it's a real vibe next up we got trainer sir once again yeah it's it's cool enough Buying some snacks at the convenience store. I mean, it's cool. This one I liked a little bit more. The uh, I've said before, the Altaria is kind of cool. I like it when they have Pokemon in the background. But once again, not super doing it for me uh, as a trainer card there. And we got a few gold cards. Uh, another Executor gold. Great looking. The golds really pop. I can't wait to see like what kind of texture is going on with this. Looks like there might be some really cool... like texture stuff going on so that'll be another card that i want to see in person real bad 
Then we got, uh, you know, a few more golds. Kind of where it ends for me. Nothing really too crazy there. But if we scroll down, let's just make sure we went through everything. Yeah, that. that um, see, these are the connected art cards, right? Um, and, yeah. There also is some pull rates. Uh, we did have somebody in one of the latest videos asking about Japanese pull rates, which isn't something... I usually touch on on the channel, but um, if you guys can see, I don't even know how quite to decipher this, but this is what they're saying. As usual, a box comes with four double rares, three IRs, and one one secret rare and one ace spec. So that, for the Japanese, that's what the pull rates are. I wouldn't expect the pull rates to really change for English, but what is very interesting about this uh, Surging Sparks, since this is half of it, this is going to be a big set. So there is, if this pull rate stay the same, there is going to be some difficult cards to pull, which means prices could go a little crazy, depending on, it, assuming that they don't, um, they don't change those pull rates, which I don't think they will. I think they're pretty solidified on that. So that kind of is going to do it for the Paradise Dragona Surging Sparks information. There is another little card that I just want to talk about real quick. They also just announced a 7-Eleven exclusive Lapras, which is unfortunately not going to be coming to the U.S. It's going to be in, it's an English card, coming to Singapore, Malaysia, and the Philippines. A stamped Lapras promo, which will be the first ever English 7-Eleven promo. No specific release date has been announced. Uh, also, this all of this information is from Poke Beach, so check them out if you guys want to stay up to date on some of the news. But that is, you know, I'm not, um, there's a few other promo cards here. We'll take a look at them, um, different stamps on them. I'm not, uh, I like this card. I do think it's super cool. The 7-Eleven stamp's kind of odd. It might be one. I might want, I don't know how common it's going to be. I'm assuming it'll be pretty easy to get since it's just going to be at 7-Elevens. But I don't know, um, the randomness of this makes me want to collect this. So... <laughs> This might, this might be something I have to get. I don't know. It's just so odd to me. So that's interesting. Um, here's a look at some of the other ones that they're doing. GameStop promo. Doesn't really do it for me personally. I don't know. It's okay. I just like the... Uh, the 7-Eleven is just weird. I like this stamp a little bit better. The Stellar Crown stamp for the Raging Bolt. It's kind of cool. And then they're also doing an EB Games version. I think this is probably, what, like Australia? They still have the EB Games, so... I think that's what that's from. Let me know um, in the comments if I'm wrong on that. But yeah, 7-Eleven Lapras. That is kind of where we're going to end this video on is 7-Eleven Lapras, which honestly is just weird. It's super weird. Uh, Pokemon's always done weird promos. There's always been the McDonald's stuff. They've done tons of other stuff throughout the years. But uh, usually we don't usually get like English um, promos like that that are that interesting pretty much besides the mcdonald's ones i know there's been there's been some over the years but uh in recent recent memory nothing's that's super really coming to mind so um to summarize 7-eleven lapras surging sparks um i just want to give my final thoughts on surging sparks before we see the other half and i think honestly i think this is going to go one of two ways i think that the pikachu set the supercharged breaker set it's either going to be amazing and we're going to get some pop in cards. I'm talking like, and if, even if the Paradise Dragona cards all seem like, sorry, I don't know what I'm doing with this. I, sometimes I fidget with stuff when I'm talking. Um, if the Paradise Dragona cards end up being the lesser and the Supercharged Breaker ends up being like the better, higher tier cards with the Pikachu and stuff, this set could be bonkers. Um, and I'm not talking like Evolving Skies bonkers, but... It's getting some really good hype, so I don't think Evolving Skies level, like, no, 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 I'm not saying that. But it could be getting a lot of really good attention, and it could do some good things. However, I just, a lot of people pre-ordered Surging Sparks early, including myself. And I told you guys why in past videos, and I don't normally do that. But there is a chance, and I, I don't, I think this chance is low, but I just want to prepare you guys there is a chance that the Pokemon company kind of bungles the supercharged breaker and it's not that good. Uh, and maybe the Pikachu card's not that good. 
I don't think that's going to be the case. But if that it's kind of not that good, and then the Dragona cards end up being kind of like maybe some of the better cards in our uh, Surging Sparks, that would indicate to me, you know, like it's going to be kind of a mid set. And yeah, so I don't think that's I don't think that that's what's going to happen. But I just wanted to throw that out there that that's possible. Um, I'm still happy with my pre-orders. I'm not worried, really, because at the end of the day, uh, Pokemon boxes go up. I'm keeping most of mine sealed. Probably only going to open, like, one booster box and one ETB per set. It's kind of what I'm trying to do, and then keep cases sealed. That's my plan. We'll see. Um, I've been ripping a little bit more packs than normal, which still isn't very many, but I do want to start ripping more in the future. Let me know. Um, if you guys, oh, first off, if you're this far in the video and you're not already subscribed, obviously you enjoyed the content, so do yourself and myself a huge favor and hit the subscribe button. And if you want, hit the like button while you're there. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about anything we touched on in the video. And let me know if you guys want to see what you'd like to see more of on the channel. A lot of it is news, Pokemon investing content right now, which is mainly what I focus on. But if you guys want to see more um, card openings, that's something that I want to integrate, and I'll probably do anyways, but let me know what other kind of content you guys would like to see. If you guys want to really see me focus in, like kind of hone in on the on the card opening thing just like a little bit more, which I would like to do as the channel grows, maybe, maybe we can start integrating that a bit more regularly, which I would like. So yeah, that would be fun. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. I'm open to... Um, I'm open to suggestions. I'm open to all of that. So um, that is going to do it for this one, guys. Just a little Pokemon news for you. I will catch you guys in the next one. And remember, it was never a phase.